I, I wanted to get the floor because it won't be long until we'll be voting on uh, my Oklahoma Attorney General, Scott Pruitt. I'm looking forward to it. It's, uh, he and I go back a long ways, and it's, uh, I, 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 I know that he's been through the ringer, as a lot of them have. I, I, I look at Jeff Sessions and uh, some of the abusive things that were said by, about him during the time that he was going through this process. And of course, the same thing has been true with, uh, with Scott Pruitt. Uh, Scott Pruitt just happens to be not only a, a, a candidate who's going to make an excellent administrator of the EPA, but he's also one who knows the job. He's been there. He's been attorney general from Oklahoma, my state. He lives in my hometown of Tulsa, Oklahoma. He's, uh, and so I know him quite well. In fact, uh, I'm in aviation, and I, flew, I remember flying him around the state and areas, introducing him when he was just starting out in the statewide uh, race. And uh, so I think he's going to do really a great job. It's my understanding that my colleagues on the other side are determined to run the clock before we vote on Attorney General Pruitt and are using the opportunity to make the case that he will destroy the environment, return pollution to the air and water, and yet they know that he'll do nothing of the sort. Uh, Attorney General Pruitt is highly qualified, and yes, it's true that he has been, he has had the occasion to file lawsuits on behalf of the state of Oklahoma uh, against the Environmental Protection Agency, and I can assure you it's, it's that he, he knows he was representing the state of Oklahoma, and there are many other states that were doing the same thing. Uh, he's a believer in the rule of law and will uphold the laws as passed by Congress within constitutional bounds. He's built a career defending the law, and, and I see no cause for concern that he will ever stop. He's been practicing law in, uh, in Oklahoma uh, since 1993 when he graduated from law school at the University of Tulsa. In 1998, he ran and was elected to Oklahoma State Senate, where he served for six years, and during the time of the state Senate, he was seen as a leader and someone who could be counted upon and someone who should be in higher office in the state. And of course, that's what happened. Since 2010, he's been the Attorney General from Oklahoma, and he became a respected defender of the state's role in our federal system of government. As EPA Administrator, Pruitt will continue to up core, uh, uphold core constitutional pr principles and won't be engaged in the same federal overreach that we've seen over the last eight years. I know there are varying philosophies in this, in this body, and I know there are people who want to concentrate the power uh, in Washington, and they see nothing wrong with what we refer to as governmental uh, overreach. Uh, I have experienced this because it happens that I was the uh, chairman of the committee, as well as the ranking member of the Environment Public Works Committee that has the jurisdiction over the Environmental Protection Agency. And, uh, and so I've watched this take place. And I know that there are, 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 are members of this committee, the Environment and Public Works Committee, who have differing philosophy as, as to what the EPA should be doing. They see uh, outsiders, they see the state sometimes as uh, as someone who is opposed to the things that they're trying to do. But we've watched this happen over the last eight years. Attorney General Pruitt has said again and again that he'll uphold the laws that we pass right here in Congress, no more and no less. So it's up to us as lawmakers to provide him with effective bipartisan legislation that will make a positive difference for the environment and for our future while balancing state and private interests. Uh, th this balance is possible, and, and Scott Pruitt is a testament to this balance. Oklahoma is an energy state. Well, Oklahoma is a, uh, an agricultural state. And we care a great deal about the land we live in and the air that we breathe and want to be sure it is safe for our families and generations to come. I think that w when I think about the current uh, uh, administrator that has, was there during the years of the Obama administration. Uh, he was uh, actually in a hearing just a few hours ago, and he talked about how close it was, uh, how comforting it was to come to our state of Oklahoma, which he did twice, and learn that landowners are on the side of the environment, 
They're the ones who want to care for the land. They're the ones who want to exert whatever energies are necessary to uh, take care of the problems of pollution that uh, are, are, are somewhat present in this, uh, this world. As Attorney General, Pruitt has worked closely to the Oklahoma Department of Environmental Quality and the Oklahoma Water Resources Board to protect Oklahoma's scenic rivers from upstream pollution. As a matter of fact, his reputation is to be, he's Mr. Scenic Rivers back in Oklahoma, and people uh, don't understand how people concerned with the environment are opposing him and saying things about him that are detrimental. He was able to use unbiased logic and scenic uh, and, and science to reach an agreement with the, Ar with the state of Arkansas to protect our water in Oklahoma. He's also been instrumental in negotiating historic water settlement agreement. This, uh, this agreement was between, between the state of Oklahoma, the Choctaw Nation, and the Chickasaw Nation. This thing, I say to them, uh, Mr. President, has been in litigation for 100 years. And he walked in and he resolved the problem. It's a battle of the, that had gone on for, for, uh, for 100 years. One of the chief concerns of the Chickasaws and the Choctaw Nation was to ensure that conservation guidelines were preserved. The agreement not only provides Oklahoma City with its long-term water needs, but also uh, protects our two nations, uh, Indian nations, uh, with their conserv conservation goals. And again, this was tried by a lot of people over a period of 100 years until Scott Pruitt came along, and he is the one who did it. Well, yeah, he has sued the EPA and fought against the Fish and Wildlife Service at times. It's been all been in Oklahoma's best interest. Now he'll have the entire nation's best interest in mind when making decisions as EPA administrator. I have no doubt he'll continue to protect our state's interest from overreach and unnecessary harmful regulations. It's no secret that Attorney General uh, Pruitt's uh, confirmation process has been unusually lengthy, and it is time we vote to confirm him in this position. We had his nomination hearing in the committee, that, uh, the Environment and Public Works Committee. That was back in January 18th, uh, almost a month ago. That hearing was one to uh, be remembered because we broke a record by asking four rounds of questions. I suggest that no, no one in this confirmation process this year or in the last three generations has had to undergo four rounds of questions. And during the course of this day-long eight-hour hearing, he answered more than 200 questions. Now, after this, he responded to more than 1,000 questions for the record, including the extra questions Senator Carper asked him uh, in a December 28th letter, uh, letter as Attorney General Pruitt promised he would. Now, this means that he answered, uh, these are letters for the record, uh, 1,600 letters, letters to the editor. The average director during confirmation over the last presidential, five, three presidential years was 200. So it's 200 questions as opposed to 1,600 questions that he was subjected to, never, never complained about it, and actually did a great job. Now, despite the Democrat efforts to, of delaying his confirmation vote, we need to be responsible and move forward to confirm Attorney General uh, Pruitt. The longer we postpone this vote, the longer it's going to take for things to get done at the EPA right now. Nothing can get done, and everyone knows that, and that, that's wrong. I know that Attorney General Pruitt will continue to be a champion for economic development and environmental responsibility while up upholding the law and restoring the Environmental Protection Agency to its role as a regulatory agency, not an activist organization. And you know, this is all for show, because everybody knows the votes are there. He's going to be, he's going to be approved. And I, I look forward to working with him. I think that uh, he is ready now to move in and do the job. It's going to be a while before he's able to get the other positions confirmed, and that's why it's important to go ahead and do it, which I understand we are going to be doing it at the end when this time runs out. With their, uh, that, Mr. President, I yield the floor.